Few will forget that in 2005, four major hurricanes struck the U.S. coastline. Hurricanes Dennis, Katrina, Rita, and Wilma caused about $160 billion in damage and left more than 3,900 people dead, the most destructive tropical year on record. Unique atmospheric conditions were to blame for brewing up such a catastrophic hurricane season. Well, there are a bunch of circumstances that really came together to kind of create a special season. Uh, the first was extremely warm Atlantic waters. Uh, up to that point, we'd never seen a warmer Atlantic Ocean. Uh, and, you know, all that warm water helped fuel these storms. Uh, the second ingredient was uh, a circulation pattern in the atmosphere, which was more reminiscent of a La Nina. Although it technically wasn't there, there's a large area of very low wind shear that also promoted a lot of these storms to form. The 2005 record-shattering, hyperactive, and highly destructive hurricane season produced 28 storms that year, including 15 hurricanes. Could 2005 happen again? Experts say that's unlikely to be repeated, at least over the next decade. But the tropics can pull surprises. Go to hurricanes.gov and look at the track maps over the last few decades. You're going to find periods where many years go by and Florida's not struck, and you're going to find other years where we're struck multiple times. And there are so many times in history where there's been a lull in Florida hurricane activity, and then we get hit really hard. And I don't know if that's going to be this year or next year or a few years from now, but the hurricanes are going to come back. There's no way around that. Florida is a very hurricane-vulnerable state. 